In this video, we will focus on the visual system as it relates to sensory processing. The visual processing system allows us to be aware of the colors, lighting, contrast, and motion of objects around us. The visual information is detected through our eyes and sent to our brain to be understood and interpreted. The visual processing system helps us recognize and understand the environment around us, helps us make decisions on what we should do next, and helps us follow through with those actions. Issues associated with the visual processing system can lead a child to be visually hypersensitive. This may lead them to become easily distracted and overwhelmed by the visual stimuli around them. Issues associated with the visual processing system can also lead a child to be visually hyposensitive. They may have trouble noticing objects in their surroundings and require those objects to be pointed out for them or they may stare at the same point for long periods of time. Other issues associated with the visual processing system include sensitivity to light, difficulty initiating or holding eye contact, trouble discriminating between similar shapes, letters, or pictures, bumping into things, difficulty with visually stimulating activities like puzzles or locating objects in pictures, trouble knowing left from right, and difficulty with understanding where objects are in space in relation to each other. Activities that you can do with your child at home to help work on the visual processing system include a game of I Spy, flashlight tag, flashlight puppets, and flashlight story time. During the game of I Spy, have the child search for specific objects around the house or have them search for objects of the same color, shape, or size. With flashlight tag, everyone playing uses a flashlight. The person starting the game tries to tag someone by flashing the light on them. When the next person gets tagged with the light, they will turn on their flashlight to continue the game. For flashlight puppets, use a flashlight to make hand puppets on any wall in the home. For flashlight story time, have the child use a flashlight to follow along with the words in the book. A suggestion for at-home everyday activities is incorporating visual cues on the floor like bright tape. This can be done during games like hopscotch or when helping around the house to help show the child where they need to place their feet. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any further questions, please contact your local pediatrician or occupational therapist.